Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be doing a review of this budget planner that I purchased from Walmart. I have another budget planner that I purchased, I believe at the start of the year, and it is this budget planner. This is the 12 month budget planner, and I found it on the shelves at Walmart. I did start to use this planner. I was a bit excited about it at first, but then I quickly realized that it's not as functional as I thought it would be for my specific needs. So if you follow me here on YouTube or maybe you're here from the blog, careermomcommunity.com, you are familiar with my Erin Condren Life Planner that I use as my budget planner. I have a ton of videos featuring this planner and it works for me. So when I purchased this one, the first thing I noticed, it is entirely too small for you know my needs. The expense tracker doesn't have as robust of sections to use. So I haven't really used this a lot. I will feature it every now and again in some videos just so that I can teach and share with you all techniques and tips. But let's zoom into this budget planner. Oops, and not out. This one was super affordable. It has 80 pages, and like I said, it is a budget planner from pen and paper. Pen and Gear is the um, brand. The thing that I don't like about stickers on my products is that it is entirely too hard to get it off. So here is the budget planner. It is very simplistic. Here is the year overview the month income, expense savings. Um, then there's a portion down at the bottom for taxes. I'm not sure who, who would use this. <laughs> Maybe an entrepreneur or a business owner would find this section helpful. And then financial goals. I am in the process of recording another video on how to create financial goals, so maybe um, this will be a good place to transcribe your financial goals. Now let's get into this particular section. So if you're interested in something simple, head over to your Walmart and you know check out this planner. This video is not sponsored by Walmart in any way, nor is it sponsored by Pen and Gear. I just want to share some um, resources with you all if you are in the market for a budget planner. So I like this section, right? Because I talk a lot about our yearly subscriptions and how it can really, really take your budget over the edge. For example, we have Hulu, Disney Plus, and all the things, and Netflix, and you know, you name it, we got it. So this section would be helpful if you're doing an analysis and looking for ways in which you can save money. Here is the monthly budget section. Again, very simple, much like the other budget planner that I purchased from Walmart. I do like that, I mean, it's not bigger than the other planner, like the sections aren't bigger, but I feel like I could write in this better. I would have to use a pen tip that is a fine tip pen just to make sure I'm not you know, um, taking up too much space with the numbers and the words. But this is a good um, spread if you're looking for something simple, on the go, no fuss, just to see your budget. I like that it is undated. The other planner is also undated. But this is a great way for um, you to just pick it up one particular month, do your analysis, see where you are, and then move on. One of the things that I advocate when I'm coaching families is to know your numbers. And this is a great way to track your monthly spending. I'm leaning towards putting this in rotation just so I can share with you all, you know, how our numbers line up. I won't go into um, granular details because I don't share a lot of our personal incomes and things like that but this is a great way to track your monthly spending and I always encourage families to at least track three months of their financial activity so that they can truly know their numbers 
<laughs> y'all, why do they put alcohol? <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a food expense, I guess. But nonetheless, this is this to me is a is a um, robust view for families. So it has childcare, tuition, which will be important for me starting in August because I will have a tuition bill for my doctoral program. It has clothing, activities, babysitter, allowance, camp, you name it. So this is a good spread in my opinion. I do like that you can track your spending um, by line item. We have so many transactions that go out of our bank accounts. I mean, yesterday we went to an ice cream truck and I also um, went to a taco truck the day before that. <laughs> And then, you know, small grocery store runs. So this would not be enough for our family of five. But I guess you could group activities or group the days. So, for example, um, maybe I reconcile, you know, every four days I'll come in and drop in our spending. And I could always, like, group the, um, you know the dining out bill over the course of a couple days and just note it noted in the description so this is a good setup in my opinion so you can track your spending you can analyze your spending each month and you can look at your totals to see how you're trending if you truly want to understand your metrics and your numbers and your finances then this to me would be a simple way for you to do that um, so each month it has a different monthly spending tracker um, set up where you can kind of um, group your items. And then it has miscellaneous, a few sections at the top, has savings, personal. So, I mean, this is, this is, pretty, this is pretty good. I'm a little surprised. <laughs> but um, it has a few months for you to work with. It doesn't say how many months it is. It said 80 pages. I'm assuming this is a 12-month set up oh look at that budget like a boss i love it i have my um workshops plan your day like a mom boss so i really like that in the back again this is from pen plus gear and i picked this up from walmart all right let's keep flipping because i noticed something a little different in this section this is the debt tracker huh why is it different in the back so this is the weekly oh i see i see okay so this is the debt tracker. So this is a good way for you to get a handle on your debt. And I need to go back to a debt tracking system because unfortunately we do have some things, um, smaller items lingering on a credit card, credit cards, it's a few of them. Um, some of them will get paid off, but then I think it'll be like two left, two or three, potentially just two. Long story short, this is a good way to track your debt payoff. So you can identify the debt, the balance, the minimum payment, and then you can, you know, track yourself paying it off and capture your notes. So this is a pretty good, um, this is a pretty good planner, surprisingly. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? Would you use it? Let me know. Then here, um, you can have your monthly savings tracker. So these are in the back. And each month, you can track your goal, your deposit amount, and your total. And then you have your weekly savings tracker where you can um, put down your deposit and your balance in a particular account. So we do have some savings accounts that auto-draft every other week into a, a separate like high-yield savings. So maybe this could be used for like additional deposits that go above and beyond. But this planner is surprisingly a nice one to pick up. Again, it's from Pen Plus Gear. I say Pen and Gear. And then um, it encourages you to budget like a boss. So let me know what you think about this planner. Give this video a thumbs up. Also hit subscribe. I would love to welcome you to my YouTube family. Bye, everyone.